All right, hi guys, I'm Jonathan, and my Stackathon project is called Exploding Puppies. It's basically a combination of the card game Exploding Kittens and our favorite puppy books. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, this game is for two to five players. I'm going to show, I guess, just four players because I don't have enough screens. So um, when a person first comes onto this page, oh, by the way, if you guys want to follow along or play, you can just go to explodingpuppies.herokuapp.com slash lobby. The slash lobby matters, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so when a, when a user first comes in, they just get randomly assigned a guest name. Um, so for example, if I refresh the second one, it'll say it left and it rejoined. Um, you can change the user's name, so I'm going to call this one Omri. Uh, I'll, this, I'll call this one myself, I guess. Um, so since it needs two players, if w there's only one player that's ready, uh, it wouldn't start and nothing would happen yet until the second player clicks ready, then you have an option to start game. Or if more, player, more players want to join, um, they can click ready, and this guy can click ready, and any one of them can start game, and it'll all look like that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the chat. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with the game, you basically keep drawing cards until you get until you lose, until you get an explode card and you die. Uh, however, there are ways to prevent that. So if in your hand you have a diffuse card, like this one over here, if you have a diffuse card and you draw a explode card, you still live <laughs> for at least one more turn. So I'm going to give an example here. Uh, it says your turn. So I'm going to click draw card, it says you drew a Taco Taylor card. Um, so all of these, all of these uh, food slash name cards have no meaning. Um, the cards that do have meaning, however, are the ones that says, uh, let's say attack, for example. So if you have an attack card and you click attack, it'll say you attack the next player. So now player three has to draw twice, or they have to go twice. And remember, you don't want to draw because the more you draw, the more the higher chance of dying. So after they draw, now player four's turn, they can draw a card or they can use one of their um, one of their cards. So let's say they have a favor card. What that does is you can pick a person and randomly take one of their card. So let's say I want to take player three's card. Um, if I click favor down here, I would have randomly taken a card from player three. So now if you notice, I don't know if you guys noticed, but player three is now missing his future card, which uh, sees the future. And it's added into uh, this player's hand. So now he can draw a card, and his turn is over. It goes back to player one's turn. And this process just keeps repeating until someone dies. I, uh, I guess I can show you what happens. Just keep drawing cards and not thinking about it. Uh, so here. this. Uh, this last player drew a diffuse, I mean drew a, an explosion card, but because he had a diffuse card, um, it says you diffused an explosion. And that explosion card is put back into the deck, so in a random position. Um, but now this player has no more diffuse, so if he draws an explosion again, he would lose. Uh, I'll just keep drawing cards, and eventually all of them except one player would, would be left. Uh, let's see if I can ever get to that. <laughs> Uh, so on the bottom also says whose turn it is. If it's your turn, it'll just say your turn. Um, it'll probably look cleaner if you're playing with only one screen. It just looks really messy right now because I'm playing four players <laughs> at once. Um, but yeah, so if you're the player, only you will be able to see your hand. And you'll see sort of how many cards the other players have, but you don't know what they have. Uh, I hope some. OK, there we go. It died. So they drew an explosion card. It says you exploded. And there, you exploded. So now on all of the other players' screen, under the player, I guess their hand, it'll just have an X on it, meaning they died. And uh, the game will just continue on, and it'll skip that player because he's already dead. Uh, and yeah, that's about it.